Welcome again to the Wolf's Den. Today we're going to have a brief look at strobes. Emergency signal devices, really efficient, really effective at night. Lots of different types and a, a thing people get confused very often. So we've got three types. We've got the here the Firefly Pro Solus, a military IR strobe, and then the Firefly Pro Waterbug. They're each different, but they all achieve the same aim. They can be seen from great distances at night, uh, depending where you're in the world, like five, six, seven, eight kilometers. We can attach Velcro to the back of them so we can stick it on the top of our flight helmet or our life jacket hood. Uh, so if, even if we fall asleep, they still activate and can still be seen. So we use the two civilian versions first. So we've got the water bug and the solace. They look identical. However, the water bug, which is the one I carry, the switch mechanism is different, as you can see from these pins, as opposed to the normal. So this will activate on contact with water. If we haven't got water, we still have a manual switch and we can turn it on. And we've got different modes. We've got full, the flashing, or SOS. So there's different types. There is a means of setting it so that it's armed essentially. Uh, so if it's activated by water, we can just take it out and it will flash automatically. Most strobes nowadays, they used to come with lithium batteries or a sealed unit. They just carry, I'm going to show my age, Walkman batteries. <laughs> what are they called? Uh, double A, triple A, who knows? The military strobe, this is what everyone gets confused. Uh, this is called an IR strobe because it has a switch so the military can't turn it on. It's on, but you can't see it because it has the IR strobe cover. The reason for this is we don't need under MVGs, night vision goggles, you don't need this to see it. We can still see this one. The idea of this shield is so that bad guys who don't have MVGs can't see you. And then the good guys flying around in gunships and spookies and all that kind of thing, you turn it on, it flashes away. They know where you are. And anybody who hasn't got a flashy light is uh, toast. So that's on, and then the military ones also have another option of we pull this center and we get this flashing blue screen. It's very hard to see, let me try and angle that at the camera. And the reason it's blue is because if you shine that, at, for example, in a military environment at a helicopter door gunner, it looks exactly like somebody's shooting at him. So we have the IR filter, so it can be seen, and then when the helicopter's on final, or we need to pinpoint somebody, they can pull, and we get the blue light, so you don't get shot at and you get picked up. Strobes are kind of cheap, not too expensive. There's different types, use batteries, uh, Awesome piece of kit, carry one, stay safe.